Grails is a programming framework for rapidly building interactive web applications. It is based on an architecture known as Model View Controller, or MVC. MVC frameworks separate your application logic into three distinct layers. The model layer is where your data resides, such as users, products, orders, or game scores. The view layer is what gets displayed to the end user in their browser. And the controller layer handles everything in between, such as performing calculations and rules. The idea behind this architecture is that by keeping the layers distinct, you can switch out the underlying technology of any layer without affecting any of the others. For example, as your application grows, you may want to switch your model implementation from a MySQL database to Oracle. Or in the Views layer, you may want to add AJAX and HTML5 to your pages. In either case, all of your business logic, stored as part of the controllers, will not need to be modified in any way. Let's see how all of these layers work together as an end user makes a request from a browser. In a static web page architecture, an end user enters a URL into the address bar of their browser, like www.infiniteskills.com slash learninggrails slash intro. The domain name directs the request to the correct web server on the internet. Everything after the domain name corresponds to a directory structure on that web server. If a specific file name is not specified in the URL, the web server will send back the default page in that directory, which is typically the index or home page. In a model view controller architecture, a dispatcher runs on the web server. The dispatcher looks for URLs on a specific IP port. If the dispatcher sees a URL that it recognizes, it sends the request to an application and controller. In this case, the intro controller that is part of the Learning Grails application. Controllers handle all the communications between the different parts of your application, such as those calculating values, querying the database, etc. If the controller requires information from a database, it sends the request through a data model. Data models allow you to represent a relational database as Java objects. You can query your database using simple commands that don't require you to worry about things like joins and other intricacies of SQL. The model returns the data from the database back to the controller. The controller also constructs the resulting web page by using a template called a view. In Grails, a view is made up of HTML, CSS, AJAX, and the typical tags that make up a web page. However, it can include additional tags that allow you to insert variable data into the page that you get from the database or controller. Once the controller has the page you requested fully constructed, it sends it back through the web server and to your browser, where it renders like an ordinary web page. By installing Grails, you'll get everything you see here with the exception of your favorite browser. The beauty of Grails is that it configures everything for you. And if you write your code using the conventions that you learn in this course, the models, views, and controllers that you build will automatically talk to each other.